Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome back to some more uh, zombie survival game in Scratch. Sorry, I just got a call. In the last video, what we did is we worked on uh, uh, zombie spawning. And yeah, round AI, all that good snaz. Today in this video, what I'm planning on doing is... Uh, just doing some general fixes to some to a few little things. So, uh, right now, off the bat, going to zombies. That's what I'm going to start off with. And um, so let's say you kill a zombie. You kill Java. Get out of here. This happens like every video with you, man. <laughs> so let's say you kill a normal zombie, which right now that's still the only thing I have um, done. But so on this, delete the clone, right? I think, right? Yeah, delete the clone is when you kill it. No, it isn't actually. We need to actually set up a thing that hurts the zombie when it gets shot. So, let's do that. All right, so what we need to do is first off, come to right here, I think. Yeah, gun check, right into gun check and just put in like bullet damage. How much damage does each bullet do? And then if it's on pistol, set bullet damage to 5. If it's a revolver, set bullet damage to 15. And if it's a shotgun, since a shotgun's a pretty pretty big old weapon, I'll do a good 30. That'll, that'll pack a big old punch. That's what that'll do. All right, cool. Now we got that set up. Now let's come into Zambi Boys and set up, you know, getting hit and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that whole thing just so I can get that, just so I can get this when I start as a clone. And I'm just gonna move this down here. All right, there we go. So when I start as a clone, a second one. Don't worry, these will run simultaneously, which means at the same time. Um. So all right, let's let's start with this. So when I start as a clone. Forever, if touching we need the color of this bullet okay here it is down in the corner if touching color and make sure this is this is the only gray color that is like that in the entire game so if touching that color meaning the bullet I wanna, you might be wondering, why not just make it if touching the bullet? Because bullet clones do not count as the bullet. Stupid, but whatever. So, if touching color gray, or whatever color your bullet is, I'm going to be changing. Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll do a wait 0, 0.0 seconds, so the bullet has a chance to disappear, so it doesn't remove health incredibly quickly. Uh, trust me, you're going to want to add this. It is super helpful. Then you're going to change. Zombie health by. Go ahead, grab yourself a join. Make this apple into a minus. And then this other one into bullet damage. Now it'll minus bullet damage every single time it hits, it touches that. Then it will check. If your health, or if enemy health, or zombie health, is less than one, which means zero or any negative numbers, it will change zombie, which is, remember, because we have in here, we have a bunch of zombies right here, so it's a five, so when you kill one, obviously the number's going to go down, making your enemy total go down, so that's what you're going to do change zombie by negative one here's we're gonna set how much money it gives you how much money killing the zombie gives you set money or change money by how much we want this guy to give us how about this guy gives us a good old 30 points good old 30 dollars how about that sounds pretty cool all right and then Obviously, we are going to have it delete the clone because the clone is dead. Now, let's see if we can actually kill the zombies. 
All right, let's see. Just waiting. This takes a bit for them to spawn. There it is. Do, 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 do. All right, cool. See, now it doesn't actually get rid of the zombies, but that's because, it, so it kills them, right? But the bullet doesn't actually disappear. Let me explain that. That's super easy why. Because remember, we just set this uh, little placeholder zombie thing. Just a placeholder. It's not our actual thing. Now we can set our actual thing. So just go ahead and do that. And then on the zombie to match the exact color. Just make sure you do that. That's very, very important. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Now the bullet should disappear. When they spawn. Don't worry, they'll spawn in a sec. There they are. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, see, now the bullets actually disappear when they hit the zombies. Look pretty, looks pretty good, right? I'd agree. I'd agree a lot. I, I like how this looks. Pretty good game when we're getting our money. How much is this one? 250. Alright, you know what? I'll play for a second. I'll play for a second. I'll play our dank game for a second. We need $250. I can get $250. I can do that. That's easy. Not if we kill all the zombies. <laughs> Alright, that's that's the round over. But anyways, yeah, that's a general gist for when you kill a zombie. Uh, now don't worry. Uh, more zombies will be coming. I'll add the other zombies. Don't worry. I'm not going to be mean and make you figure it out. I'm not that rude. Um, something I might add... Uh, yeah, I will. Yeah, I will. No, no, I won't. I won't. I was going to add a thing that makes it change sprites. I could do that. I'm just... It's not that I can't. I can. I'm just lazy. If you really want to see that, I'll show you how to do it. Just put that in the comments. Anyways. On to the next fix. This little bullet boy doesn't disappear when he touches the walls. Now, now, why would that be? Why would that be? I mean, Deku, look, we have all the colors matched up. I mean, they should disappear. Why aren't they disappearing? That didn't make sense. Sh shut up. Okay? Here's how it's going to need to work. It's going to be super, super weird, all right? And I'm sorry it has to be this way because I don't like it either, but we're going to try something, all right? All right, so the basic fix to um, getting your bullet to not go through the walls, just go to your bullets and set the speed to 15. You can play around and make it a little bit higher. Um, 20, if it's at 20, at least at how thick my walls are. That's completely different. If your walls are super thick, you won't even have this problem. But if your walls are as skinny as mine are, because mine, are, mine is just a test, obviously this isn't perfect. Uh, it goes through it because it moves 20 steps and then checks. So if it moves 20 steps, this is more than 20 steps. So if the bullet is shot at just the right angle, it'll move 20 steps, check, 20 steps, check, 20 steps, check, and 20 steps, go all the way through it and then check. And then it'll run all the way through. So that's the basic reason why. So just go ahead and set all your steps to 15. You can go a little bit higher. I bet it could do that depending on how skinny your walls are. That's that's it. And that's where I'm going to leave this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, then like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyways. Because um, this is just a quick little video fixing a little bit of mistakes that I realized I've made. Um, so yeah. Next video, we will focus on getting zombies to follow and go to the rooms that the player is in instead of actually just uh, facing towards the player and moving towards him, actually getting rooms to go through rooms and find which rooms they want to go to. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. While you're at it, why not subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content, that helps me a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.